just so people kind of know we're up here in the, in the Kindlestown. But yeah, you, Paddy and yourself did a great job here. You, you cut a lot of the um, the put growth that, back. Put that back just to highlight the guys here that were standing on the bank here. You know, right, right. Would have been on the bank here. Yeah. Well, this is where the kids generally congregate. Yeah. Of an evening, and then obviously then they've got basically a playground of, of there's a small you know kind of woods and all that gorse. But then more kind of crucially for for us living on the other side of this, yeah, is, is a nice big uh, dried out hedgerow that um. They're obviously. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's backing onto the, the houses, as you know. Right, so, I mean, exactly. if this goes up, the, we have to be safe. Someone, someone has to make it safe in some yeah. way. Now, this, I know I've spoken to you a few times. I know this started at least two months ago or three months ago now. Three months it? ago. Right. This, this is, I've been onto the council and the guards have been, it's been reported to the guards as well. Right. Because so there's been I mean, a few attempts at fire, like kids, kids, as we should yeah, explain, are attempts. hanging here and they've, they've, they've set a few fires and, and uh, as they, as is the, uh, an idiot kids want is the that they will. I've been up here about six or seven times, maybe more. more. Yeah. And um, we can see the tail end of a bit of yeah. a fire there, and, and obviously as you go deeper in there, there's a bit more. Uh, it's easier to hide. They have got yeah. they have got cameras here, yeah. which seem to be not entirely uh, effective because I don't think anybody's ever been um, kind of called up on on the activities they've done. You, know, you were saying that there was kids trying to pull it down with with wires, oh, ropes, and all that. Ropes here last, last, yeah. last Wednesday. So even that didn't seem to actually get, get a reaction from the council to come up and, no. and deal with it. No. Because you would hope that they're, um, the whole purpose of them is A, to deter, but also to identify any Egypts that, that, that cause... Well, this, you know, yeah. I mean, it's a big threat to the houses here. There's, as I said, there's 24 houses here involved. Yeah. It's a big threat. We'll take a walk up further, because I just want to see now, I know myself now there's quite a bit of a... Quite a bit of gorse and quite a bit of um, what's, what, uh, fire damage what's here. Not, a little bit of fire damage here. Now, well, see, this is this is the real kind of stupidity of, of knowing that this these hedges are connected to sheds and houses, and yeah. knowing that that if it starts, it, it's going to be almost impossible to stop. Absolutely, and you get the wind uh, coming this way here, and then you ha you have boundary hedges which is running in, parallel into the houses as well. Yeah, people's houses, the boundary hedge, and if they go up, I mean. And sure. it's so dry at the moment. The hills are so dry as well. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. They're going to catch fire fairly, fairly quickly. Big time. And then it's uh, and it's going to be, you know. And everybody's tipping fingers for miles, so you know it'll it'll travel. And then here, here at night time, there's, it's very rare. I can, I, I, I sometimes I don't see because yeah. you don't know what time. Sometimes it's late at night when they're starting to light the fire. It could be yeah. nine. It could be ten. It could be eleven o'clock at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so if you're in bed and. You don't hear, you know, you could be... Sure, well, it's it's almost impossible. Or it is, no, there's you know, nothing to give you an key, alarm. Yeah, you know? and it's it's fairly well visually hidden until it's too late. Until it's too late. Yeah, Absolutely. I mean, you would literally have to be looking this direction to notice that smoke was starting or... <laughs> yeah, or some of the, some or kind unless of there's someone around that would be out that would alert people. Of, yeah, now, you know? I, I know that you've been in touch with both the Wicklow County Council, you've been in touch with uh, various councils like Jerry Walsh, you've been in touch with Rory O'Hanlon, and, and, and promises or, or at least, you know, suggestions have been made that they're going to do one thing or another, but nothing has actually materialised. Nothing has actually materialised yet. And as I say, Rory O'Hanlon said that he was up monitoring this area here, but he's never been up here. He hasn't right. been up here once. So, I mean, if he hasn't been up here, he can't access the area. Right. Do you know? Now, do, I, do, I have no idea if he has or not, but I, no, if he you hasn't. haven't heard back from him directly, is it possible that he hasn't had a an actual you know report to, to give or, or be able to sort of address it and say oh this is what i found yeah. but there's no question that it's 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 attractive to kids by the sheer nature of the fact that it's well hidden, it's well hidden. i would yeah. hope the cameras would have changed and it has changed somewhat the activities that go on up here because the, it was always notorious for uh, just generally like being a being a hangout for people without any kind of supervision or any kind yeah. of a, a, a possibility of being caught because i mean they like the fact that they can run left or right if, if anybody approaches them they can go the other way but uh, but this is um, this is more serious than just kids playing. This is more serious. This, this, is, this, is, this is life this and death. Is life really. or death. Yeah. It, it, with yeah. The houses here that's involved. As I said, there's about twenty four houses involved here altogether. Right. Right. That, right. That's uh, you know, if anything goes up and deep. Yeah. Then yeah. We're, but it we're is. It is just a. Here. It is a nightmare scenario that that uh, yeah. uh, you know anything should start. That it all it takes is, is you know unattended for 10 20 minutes and it's just going to be gone, it's gone, it's gone, be gone. absolutely no fire brigade is going to be able to put that no. kind of uh, fire out and, no. and the access no. here would be very limited even for fire brigades well you have make... to come in here as i say in the bottom end yeah, here, yeah. which, which the, it's you know well it's still going to be taking them a long time to get through and, to and get to that here, point yeah. that they can absolutely. really do any kind of a, a, a good and this is this is another area i know myself this i've been up here and this is kind of completely open and and uh the, obviously, there's a there's a, a knack of, of fires being started on this side of it too, it because well, yeah. it's a sort of an isolated little space of its own. Yeah. Um, I think the appeal would be, obviously, the kids themselves sort of are, are very aware, but it's 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 the hope that the parents too are aware 
on some level that maybe their kid is out there having this kind of fun because they don't come from nowhere. They're not they're not street urchins, you know, living living underground somewhere. It's not Oliver Twist and his gang no, and no. the Artful Dodger. These these are kids who live. Most of them live around here. There are those, of course, who travel doing a little bit of travelling because this is a good place to hang out with their mates. Absolutely. But the yeah, hope would be that up, parents would take a second to think about. Well, do you know what? Maybe. You know, Johnny is, is not actually, you know, Dennis the Menace. Maybe he's worse than that. Maybe he's, he's a little bit of a, a pain in the arse for, for the fact that he might just cause a fire. Well, he, he, did he know if he's out congregating with other guys up here that they're, what they're up to and the mischief they're up to? Yeah, And, yeah. The, and the trouble they're causing the, the, the people in the houses here and yeah. people that are trying to walk the dogs up here that, that are a bit intimidated by them. Sure. And kids, here, local kids that can't come up and play. Yeah. There's a football yeah. pitch up here and, the, and they're, they're limited. They have to go up another way around. The long way up around if they had to come up. Well, what would you hope now? Uh, the best case scenario from from the council coming out would it be to, to, to entirely kind of remove the hedging here? I don't know what what would be the solution. Well, I obviously, the, the, I would hope the cameras are being used more effectively. That there's a real deterrent that people just well, don't want. Well, I think if they had to remove this this area, they'll have to make the houses safe. They'll have to put up a fence or something. They'll have to, they'll have to you know, they'll have to make the houses safe as Some well. Some buffer between the Some, houses. Something, and this something kind either of... wall or a fence put up. That, right. that will protect the houses as well because it's going to be open then if this is taken sure. out it's going to be opened up to you know ah yeah well so. vulnerable to like people just sort of generally being able to uh, access and mess around and, and it'll yeah. be a new play area but I, I would hope too that the cameras if used more effectively would be a strong deterrent that if they were able to identify and you know deal with scenarios that happen then rather than well we'll, we'll see this in a month or in two months time I think you know that would be a great deterrent too that if, if people thought they were going to be on camera there's no question it was them that could obviously help an awful lot too. Oh, so absolutely. there are things can be done. Absolutely, there are things yeah. can be done. Also, I think electric fence would be great because if they held on to electric fence, they'd still be here in the morning when we when we want to catch them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you see, well, that's that'd be. Yeah. I think I don't think that'd yeah. be feasible. But well, I, I I think we could you know work something out sure, on the sure, slide. With, with, we won't if, get council approval, but <laughs> I'm sure if if this is taken out of it and and yeah. and there's something put up in this place to yeah. protect the houses, it's a nice walkway, and then people can see from the houses then what's going on if you put up a wall you can't see because yeah, you're going to be hiding yeah. you behind that again sure sure so I think a fence ah, it's would tricky be the, yeah and I, th tricky. I think that's that's one side of it but I, I, I'm, I'm fairly convinced too that if there was more of a uh, would say a surveillance an actual kind of you know uh, somebody was watching them some sense of that this is not going to go unnoticed or that they can't get away with it I think it would be a deterrent because half the time it's just being hidden in, in the moments like a nuisance phone call or, or you know like trolling on, on Facebook if people can't see you You'd be a lot more stupid and yeah, daring than you might Yeah, but this is why be. we wanted we wanted to get some uh, input from the from um, Rory O'Hanlon, right? As the as engineer to see what they can come up with and and, and talk to the people, come up and talk to the people. Yeah, right. You know, this yeah. is what it needs to be done. It needs to be come up, he needs to come up and talk to the people and see what has to be really done because he hasn't been up here whatsoever. Right. Well, the great thing and is the budget wouldn't be huge because they already have no. the, the the cameras in and it's just a hedge. It's not like we have to clear acres of wasteland. Absolutely. So I think Absolutely. it would be a, a very easy fix if, if it was just uh, basically people got involved. People and, got and, involved yeah, and, and, and the and council come say, up to us. And, I mean, yeah. something has to be done here. It has to be, it has to be made safe. Yeah. The house has to be yeah. made safe and that's the big, that's the big priority. Well, we'll follow through. We'll, we'll email Rory and just see what he feels is, uh, is uh, possible that they could um, get to us and, and hopefully deal with this before it ever becomes an actual problem. Well, it is.